What's up everybody, EDSplay101 here and welcome to the Pokemon Unite test server where we're going to be taking a look at the next two Pokemon coming to Aeos Island, Maridon and Phalanx. But first let's take a look at Maridon. Maridon's passive is called Hardron Engine. When a Pokemon with this ability hits, an, hits a Pokemon from the opposing team with a move, it creates electric terrain. The Pokemon can consume a portion of its collected Aeos energy to expand the area of the electric terrain it creates. If the Pokemon with this ability or its allies are within the electric terrain, their attacks deal additional damage and they, and they cannot be put to sleep. Electric terrain strengthens ally team goals and weakens opponent's team goals. This ability goes on cooldown after it's triggered. So the first two moves we're going to be looking at is Thundershock and Thunder Wave, which is the moves that he started off with. Thundershock just sends a shock wave of energy straight forward and thunder wave sends a little lightning ball that paralyzes them and causes damage his next two moves are going to be charge beam and thunder charge beam holds two stocks and if you activate it once it shoots out a beam activate it twice then he gets access to a third one that just shoots a constant beam out in in a column now the next move is thunder that sends a lightning cloud above enemy team's pokemon and it, sl it, it slows them down as well so no matter how far you away you are as long as you already have them in the target you can move far away you'll still trail them and again this does slow them down and uh causes damage the next two moves are Electro Drift and Parabolic Charge. Electro Drift does two dashes. It has two dashes in stock, and on the third one, it does an extra an extra charge. It deals more damage um, the lower the target's health is. Now, with Parabolic Charge, it sends a flood of electricity around itself, and if it hits an opposing Pokemon, it applies a slowing effect and it heals Maridon as well as, as it recovers one stored use of Charge Beam or Electro Drift. And the more Pokemon that this hits, the more HP Maridon recovers. Now, the upgraded version of Electro Drift decreases the amount of time it takes to store a use of the move. And the upgraded version of Parabolic Charge grants him a little shield. Now the upgraded version of Charge Beam and Thunder. With Charge Beam, they didn't fix it in the in the um, in the test server because it's supposed to increase the maximum number of charges that can be held. As it reads, it increases the maximum number of charges that can be kept in reserve for this move to zero, but I'm assuming that's going to get changed when he when he gets released in the full game to like maybe three. Uh, the inc the slowing effect um, is strengthened when it comes to thunder upgrade. So that was my quick overview of the new range special attacker Maridon. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a test server version and it is subject to change when he comes out in the full the main game so hope you guys enjoyed this if you have access to the public test server jump on there try them out tell me what you think and until next time peace and see you guys in aos island